In this video, we will solve and submit the ISBN exercise from the fifth series. In this exercise, we will write a function is ISBN that takes a string argument and the function must return a Boolean value that indicates whether or not the argument is a string that represents a valid ISBN 10 code. We will start from the solution in series 4 to solve this exercise. Let's switch to PyCharm. In a finite number of cases, the ISBN 10 code was each time read as a string and we checked and printed whether or not the ISBN 10 code was valid. In the current exercise, we should return a Boolean value for only one entered ISBN 10 code. We can realize this by writing a function is ISBN that takes the ISBN 10 code as an argument and the function will determine whether or not this code is valid. Later, we could use this function as many times as needed to check if a given argument is a valid ISBN 10 code or not. Since we only want to test one ISBN code and we wish to implement this using a function, we can remove the while loop and the input lines. After all, the code to be tested is provided as an argument of the function is ISBN. We now transfer the code for calculating and testing the check digit to the function is ISBN. The test can be adjusted so that we always get a Boolean value in return. In this case, the entire if clause can be noted down much more succinctly. The result of this test will immediately be returned as a Boolean value true when the conditions are true and false when not. The print statements can be removed. In this solution we want to do a few more checks on the argument. We will check if the argument can possibly be an ISBN 10 code. Is it a string? Does it contain exactly 10 characters and are the first 9 characters digits? We add these tests to the code. So we test if code is a string, if the length of code is 10, and if the first nine characters are digits. If the argument is not OK, the function should return false. To run this code in the Python console, we first have to select the entire code and on the context menu of the selection, we choose Execute Selection in Console. We now enter a sample value from the donor and compare the output in the console with the result from the donor. Our code seems to be correct we can now submit it to the donor. In this exercise, we had to write a function is ISBN that takes a string argument. The function must return a Boolean value that indicates whether or not the argument is a string that represents a valid ISBN 10 code. This is the end of this video, which demonstrates how to solve the ISBN exercise from series 5.